Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. Been a busy week this last week, so I haven't caught up with videoing. I'm trying to do it this weekend. What we have are some interesting things. Some I should be filming on the gizmo. Some I should be filming freestanding because it will be easier to show you them. What we're looking at is the first lot of flowers there that have opened up again for this beautiful um, Dendrobium glomeratum, pseudoessians, whichever you wish to call it. What I need to do is get you a couple of dendrobiums in. I'll be back in a flash. Because once we've looked at these, I'm going to put you on the gizmo so that um, you can have a look at the other things going on. I've actually now got three plants of this Dendrobium glomeratum flowering in this greenhouse. Two for the first time. Those flowers are a bit ropey. That one's okay. Those are a bit small. I'll show you them on the way round. Because we're avoiding the fogger at the moment. And I don't want to turn the kit off until I have to. I'm just leaving one fan run in here instead of two. And then um, if we do it quick enough, I won't melt in the heat, that's for sure. Although it's, it's sort of in between this weather. It's a bit crazy in the UK currently. Right, what we'll start off with is my new biddy, which was Dendrobium chrysocrepis. Now everybody, when they saw this, when I bought it, a bunch of twigs didn't go much on it but now you can see the bunch of twigs has grown and the bunch of twigs has flowered um i've got one two three two not bad of spikes and these two new spikes that have grown and I didn't even think this was going to make it. Now this is called the slipper dendrobium. The flowers are now closing. There's one more flower to open but what I'll do is put up on the screen the flowers when they opened a couple of days ago. It grows in China, Myanmar and Thailand. But believe it or not, it grows on limestone. And it's a cool growing lithophyte. We've got it growing on cork. Might change it, might not. I didn't even know it was flowering until I was moving it about because I'd put it out of the way for it to grow. Didn't think we'd get any blooms on it. But the blooms are very short-lived and they're not wrong there because they're now closing already and that's three days, although the weather's been a bit crazy. But I think we've got one more round there that's going to um, open. I think this is going to be a thing to watch in the future. He's quite good. Now, what we've got is a melt. Why have you put that in like that? I don't know. Why have I? Masdevallia scabrilinguis, this is. And this is going to take some getting for you to... There. Right, we're back again. Hopefully you can see that dinky, dinky little flower. Can you focus, please? There. It's a miniature. It's not very big. It's the only flower it's got on it at the moment. I haven't had it long. And it's supposed to be a synonym of attenuata. But they haven't, they've left it separated for now. It's a miniature and it grows warm to cool. And believe it or not, it's found in 
Panama or in Western Costa Rica. It's got those lovely little white tubular flowers. I don't normally like little, but sometimes little is nice and that spread on those tails is quite nice. And these are white tubular flowers, but they haven't got any stripes. There's lines in the makeup, but there's no stripes. So, you know. And then what I've brought down to look at, oh, now my things have gone out of focus. It's two Parisiais. Bunch of dead, bunch of dead pseudobulbs. Pseudobulbs with lots of new growth. Put this one up in the apex hanging from the bars. Been up there for a month and it's got one, two, three, four new growths and a kiki. This has been in a sort of semi shady area. What I've noticed this morning is if you can, you can see it in there. In there, yes you can, you can see it's putting out the growth and get out of the way, you're in your way. At the bottom of that cane it's putting out a growth. So this little beauty is coming out of this pot tomorrow, going on a bit of cork bark there. Not cork bark, I don't like bark. You know, piece of that stuff. Um, and it's getting put next to it. And I want to see then how long it will take for it to put out its um, growth. But what I'll do in a minute is show you this one in situ. I'm going to hang it back up now. And you can for yourself it's not in direct sun it doesn't like direct sun but it likes as much light as you can give it without it being too hot and I mean it grows in Thailand in deciduous forests the plant is deciduous full stop so as long as it doesn't burn it's going to grow up there and I haven't been able to flower it up to now but hopefully now that I've got it up there I'll have a flower on one or the other of them, but even in the driest part of the, it's a, there's a two month dry season for this plant, but it's still not classed as um, resting. So whilst I'll let it go dry in the winter, I will keep the moisture coming and we'll see where we go from there. I'm going to leave you for now and put you on the gimbal so that we can have a look at the stuff that's going on. Right, here we are, back connected again, out in the hothouse, because it's a bit baking, with the foggers turned off. So we can go see what's happening down here. The last of the unicums have opened. And the flowers look rather splendid. Which they looked a bit ropey to start with, but looking good. So I'm pleased with all of them. All we want now is for the Dickersonii's to come along in the same manner for next year. I've spoken to them nicely, so hopefully they will. Here we have a no ID Tolumnia, which I think is quite pretty. It's a recovering one. I almost lost it. It had one fan left on it and then it put up a new one. So this year it's flowered for me. Hopefully next year it will be happier. And after everything I said about Tolumnia, you're a filler, not flowering. Obviously, didn't want to be outdone. 
looking forward to this one opening it's a couple of years since it did and that is a yellow flower and hopefully it won't abort like the um, other one did so he's come on there's not many flowers on it but I'll take whatever they're gonna give me to be perfectly honest with you um, when it'll focus it'll be good come on you're only little let's have Okay, you preferred Dickasonia because you focused on that. Now, if you can focus on Dickasonia, no, blah, 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 blah. Unicum, please focus on your filler. Not bad, not bad at all, that one. There's more flowers starting to come on Telepogon. Oh, Telepogon, I always say it wrong when I haven't looked at it for a while. Telepogoniflora. It's coming along now that it's settled in and it's beginning to grow lots of new leaves. So next year I'm hoping for something a lot more spectacular on there. Who knows what will happen? We shall wait and see. Now, we've been looking at those. Those ones are nearly gone. They're on their way out. They're not lasting long in this heat, that's for sure. Had a look at those. And what I was surprised to find this morning, go away. I've been looking out for this for weeks. Dendrobium. I want to say Tiongii. Oh God, what is the matter with my brain today? I was right. Nothing wrong with my brain today. It is Dendrobium Tiongii. Why did I think it was wrong? Has finally forgiven me for punishing it and is going to flower for me. It's later than last year flowering. I had it in full spectacular flower last year, this time last year, because it was um, middle of June when it was entered into the um, BOC competition. So it's late flowering, but they're coming. And hopefully if it follows its pattern of previous years, all of its canes have come along nicely. So the change to the different side of the greenhouse now, it's over here. Hopefully we'll um, keep it happy. We shall see before too long. We have here, I want to say this is Phalaenopsis parishii. I'd be right as well, makes a change. I usually get things wrong. Not so many flowers on it as last year, but when they're all open, it'll be a it seems to be one big spike rather than little spikes going out sideways that happened last year. It's going to have a fair few flowers on it, so we'll wait for that to come. And what we've got there is Loch Hartier. It's one of our members that died, Graham's flowers. And I kept this one. I have got a name for it, but I haven't written it down yet and I've never grown them before so it does have a clonal name I just can't remember what it is until I look it up again but it's doing all right there so it's happy and here we have what is supposed to be Dendrobium violaceum blue not in any way stretch or form is that blue it's the same as my pink one I paid a whole lot more for this plant because it was the blue version that said this one's mounted and the other one isn't and I really like the fact that you can see because the flowers are hanging and not getting in the way of the spikes canes you can see them better which is nice here we've got another cluster on my Achaei which seems to flower like a weed. So 
I don't mind, I like it. Now there, what I can see, oh, I think they're kikis, they're not flowers. I really don't think they're flowers, I think they're kikis. Time will tell. Now, over the back there, is Dendrobia maximium which is already flowered and put up three lovely spikes and I bemoaned the fact that it didn't put up the five spikes it put up last year and lo and behold it's put me up two more one which is quite small there and one flower bud is aborting there well it's not actually it's growing there's something else on it that one's going to be a nice one over the back there so we will have some more Eximian flowers, which is always nice. I think they're quite stunning. I love it. Love it. And what we have growing over there, if you can see it with the pot behind it, is a new flower spike on one of my species. Um, speciosa coffee. This is the gorgeous brown one well coffee colored not brown so we should have a flower on that before too long there's a couple of others that are um, there he's put up two sp flower spikes which one are you Violacea indigo. And as you can see, I'm fed up with the slugs getting them, so I've got slug pellets everywhere. And I think it might be that one. That coffee one looks as though it's got another flower spike coming out that side. Well, let's take the zoom off, then you can see what I'm talking about. He's got another flower spike coming up there, so he'll have another flower on. And this one, he's got two flowers on. And that is Corny Curvu Flavum, unique. And that one is Speciosa Blue, Speciosa Blue Grey, and he's got a coffee spike on. A coffee spike? That's an interesting trick if you can do it. What he's actually got is a flower spike. And over there, I don't know, Oops, not that way. We have another flower spike coming on a Renanthera, which I think is a hybrid. A Miyani. And then That's Amiyani again. The other one's Amiyani crossed with something. Too far away to see at the moment. I've got buckets in front of me in the way. So we'll watch and see if that behaves itself this time. Down there, there's not a lot going on now. What we have is very something very strange going on there. Because that's not meant to happen. That's a new cane coming out of a growth a spike unless it grows pineapple shaped flowers on that who knows goldie eye blue for n supposed to do something a little better than that but what is down there is what looks like a flower spike this we'll monitor and see what happens to it won't we because anything goes, really. I've never seen that before on a dendrobium. Please let me know if you have, because it would be very interesting. I need to add this little dink as well. Dendrobium goetia. Tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. But look at the beautiful flowers. It dies off every year. Looks as though the whole lot's dead. And then it comes back. Well, it has so far. So, 
trouble is you miss it, you blink and you miss it because it's so tiny. But the flowers are stunning. There's still another one on there. It'll open. That bit there. Nearly forgot this one. Still flowering its little socks off. Just a little hybrid of Heliwigianum crossed with Violaceum. All those flowers hide in the base there. Beautiful they are. And they last a really long time. So I'm really pleased with that this year. It's so much coming on so well and got so many more flowers on it. It's really gorgeous. Can't wait to see it when it's bigger. Well, this little beauty is opened. Just in time for me to tack it on the end of the update video for this greenhouse. It's uh, Thalumnia, you're a fellow. At least one of my Thalumnia species has flowered. It's in the same place <coughs> as Scandens, and Scandens just aborted. They both bear root, they're both on cork bark. I do exactly the same with them, so I, I don't know. But I adore this one. This one can definitely stay because it's yellow and it's a beautiful yellow. It's only got two flowers, but I'll take that. It's a flowering. I am happy for a change. That's all for now, viewers. So I hope you enjoyed watching it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So look after yourselves. Stay safe. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.